Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from the Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. I like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV, Bomb Squad, man. All right, man. Let's talk about Shakur and Jamil here, man. Um, I had a anniversary yesterday, and I was I was drunk like man. I did like ten shots of Jose Cuevo. I did some uh like two boy Mason. I did like two drinks at the bar restaurant we was at. Strong drink, so. Man, I was like, man, I'm about to watch this. This, this uh, my girl said, go upstairs. I said, I'm about to watch this fight come upstairs. Next thing I know, I don't know what happened. I just woke up in the bed. Miles taking up half the bed. Mason up under me. You know, that's how small dogs do. I like to get under the cover and get under your body heat. I just, I'm like, damn, what time is it? It's like 2 or 3 in the morning. Fight was over with. But I went back to went back and watched it. I dropped the link in the Discord for y'all, for the ones who ain't seen it. Great quality. I mean, it was a little bit more than I expected for Shakira Stevenson. Huge fan. Um, great talent. His last two performances were pedestrian. Okay, everybody talk about the performance versus uh here Mason. Everybody talk about the performance versus uh the African cap. But he needed this performance, man. Excuse me. He needed this performance because his last two fights were terrible, and he was trying. He was starting to turn me off as as a fan, not because his personality. Everybody said, "Well, he did this, he did that." He's a kid, all right. He's a kid, bro. So you know, people gotta understand. People, kids make mistakes, man. And you know, and we black people, we can't recover from nothing. Even in boxing, Canelo can recover from pets, but you know, people still bring it up about this guy, that guy, or 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 insinuate this guy on pets. But it's Tuka Khan clearly was a terrible fight. And then um, the Jeremiah Nekatina fight was pedestrian too. So he needed that. And you got to ask yourself, was uh, Tuka Khan Clary or Nekatina, or whatever his name is, no disrespect, were they better fighters than, than Jamil here? But you know, it ain't about being better fire, fighters. His styles make for fights. And he just refused to take out Tuka Khan Clary. He just refused. I don't know. When Shakira feel too much strength, he feel too much power. Do we go into safe mode? A lot of fighters do that. You know what I'm saying? People say, what you want to say about Floyd? And once Floyd get cracked back, he got some of that Crawford in him. He going to hit you back. Say what you want to say about Floyd. When Floyd get hit, you know, you catch him, he going to come right back at you. And then he going to kind of go into go into his groove. You know, and I don't see that. I ain't see that from Shakira Stevenson the last couple of fights. Even with Joel Gonzalez. At the time, his girlfriend, that was her brother, he said it was racist, basically. I just, even though he didn't want to, you know, he, he even though he didn't want to knock him out, to me, in hindsight, I don't think he could knock him out looking at the uh, the um, Nevete fight, but he didn't just show his his last three. I can't remember the Felix Cabello fight, but Nicotina, Clary, and Gonzalez, he just didn't show me that main streak of last night. He showed it. He didn't fight like he from Jersey. The last three out of four fights, he didn't fight like he was from Jersey, man. And um, y'all know I got my leg. I got a Lakers shirt on. I bought like ten years ago, man. I know niggas, but hey, you, you, you don't even like LeBron's. When Kobe was running the team, I right think his run. I bought this shirt, but like I said before, last night he showed it to me. Last night, you know, even though you know they said he was slowing down, like I think that was like the six, seven. Eighth, nine ish. I think it was like the eighth or nine ish going into the next round. Um, he was slowing down, but the thing about it is, even though he got the stoppage because of the cut, he just to me, he don't take that extra step as a fighter. You see what I'm saying? Like when you watch, uh, uh he kind of remind me of Spence a little bit as far as you know, he they just gonna keep. They they program the key. It's like telling the program you you program to to show on this side to switch ships out. You program on that side what comes in. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what you program to do. Spence and, and, and Stevenson, they are not gonna take, they're gonna just keep doing it at the same rhythm, at the same when they get their groove, same rhythm, same pace. And if you crumble, you crumble. If you don't, I'm gonna keep winning this way. And I guess you gotta make them as fighters, you gotta make them, excuse me, my head. You gotta make them do something else. And if you don't, they very hard to do. It's hard to knock them dudes out of what they do great. And if I would love to see from both those fighters and fighters like that, when plan they plan A's are so superior, when it don't work, I think I think you'll see the best Earl Spence, you'll see the best Shakira Stevenson. When they plans don't work, I think you see the, the very best of them. All right. But last night, basically, was Stevenson beating on Jamil Heron. And um, obviously, Bo Mack said in the uh, corner of the game plan was to walk towards Stevenson. And Stevenson, he kept throwing with a little short right hook to keep to keep Jamil Heron lined up for that straight right hand, straight left hand. And that's what happened. Jamil didn't want to go left because he was he was walking into a good or go to his right because he was walking into a good left hook. And Stevenson made him cut not cut the ring off. And that's kind of what Lomachenko did to T.O. Nate and uh, line kill. We was on the Nate was saying, "Well, I was like, why ain't T.O. stepping over?" He said, "I don't, I wouldn't, I don't blame him because he gonna step right into the hook." So, you know, like I said before, Jamil, good fighter, beautiful family, but I think, uh, like I said before, he wasn't willing. The reason he was, it wasn't that Stevenson was hurting him so, so much that you don't want to get hit. So Stevenson was able to get off, and was, when when Jamil when Jamal Jamil made the step first. He made the step forward. Stevenson was just doing small things. When he stepped over to cut the ring off to his right, Stevenson would throw a short right hook, and it was very effective. And he would, and then Jamil didn't want to go straight, then go into go to his right, and he started kind of being in the center, kind of walking towards uh, Stevenson with straight left hand. Stevenson was coming over the top with uh with that right hand, and he was having that one two. He was shooting shit around the guard. I mean, he kept uh Jamil off balance. It was a little small things he was doing. Creating distance, taking steps back. He was fighting him in the pocket. He was beating him on the inside. He was beating him on the outside. And Jamil is just not the type of fighter that's going to tuck his chin, tuck, put his air muffs on, and just walk through fire and push him back. You know, Stevenson like the stronger, bigger man in there last night too. So Jamil probably a little drained. But, you know, what they should have had him come out do, it's hard. Just tuck his chin. And, just, and, you know, that's not a style. Like a guy like William Zapata will give – that's the type of guy that will give uh, – Shakir Stevenson hailed a 35 pounder. I suppose that was fighting the Golden Boy, uh, Jojo Diaz, a Fortuna card, wasn't it? He, 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 the type of guy that you want to see Stevenson. I'm not even sure no more that Nervete can really fuck with Stevenson after what I've seen from their last two fights. Everybody saying he ducked Nervete and Nervete, you know, him and Stevenson, both one of my favorite fighters. I'm not sure he can, he can beat that kid. I'm not sure Nervete can beat Shakur. But and then Jamil would walk forward, and then he would do that Keith Thurman. He took a half step back. He posed that come coming forward behind the jab. But Shakira just faster last night. He is faster. And I thought Jamil was pretty fast too. He is fast. Footwork too good, and you know wasn't too much Jamil can do, but put his earmuffs on and walk straight forward and try to beat him up. And that's how you got to fight that kid. You got to can't box with him. <laughs> that's suicide. It's boxing suicide. You can't sit there. Box with him. You gotta put the air muffs on, tuck the chin. You gotta pressure him. I don't think nobody down there, nobody around that weight class boxing him. Like he will destroy Tank. <laughs> he will, he will destroy Tank, man. Devin, Devin probably got a chance because his athleticism and his length. But if you ain't look one, if you ain't no pressure fighter. You gonna lose to him, and then he can fight on the inside. You you probably gonna lose to him. He's so fundamentally and technically good. Like Coach Kokoroma, he ain't been really having success with new fighters he bringing in, a job boy and uh Jared Hur. But if I'm Coach K Karoma, I'm only working with guys like Stevenson, boxers first. I'm only working with boxers. I'm not I'm not working with no nobody else. If you can box guys like Tyson Fury, guys like Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Mikey Garcia. I'm only walk, working with guys like that. Devin Haney. Them the only guys I'm working with. Boxers first. That's what he excels at dealing with boxers. Not brawlers, not pressure fighters that want to be boxers, not brawlers that want to be boxers. He need to just focus on the guys that box. That's it. Focus on the guys that box. And he do that. He go down as one of the greatest trainers of his era or maybe all the time. But 
Yeah, I wasn't. I'm. I was surprised that she that she cured. You know, was more aggressive last night. When I had to let him take a step further, absolutely. But you got to make him. Excuse me. You got to make him. You got to make him. Make you got to make him take a step forward. And I love to see somebody like Lomachenko, Williams, Zapata, and Manny Vete. I would love to see. You know, if I think those would be Tiafimo Lopez, Devin Haney. I think those guys, Javante Davis, maybe. Those guys make him come out of shell. You got to make him and Spence. They do this. They the same fighter when they come to. I'm a, once I find my groove, I'm gonna keep doing this shit. You got to make me do something else. And um, I want to see somebody make him do something else. Dude, that, and it's gonna come. Hang around long. It's gonna come. 126, 30 pounds. Um, obviously you got Gary Russell too, who said he didn't want he didn't want none as far as uh secure. And I think Gary Russell, something about Gary Russell that we don't know that everybody else know about that. But yeah, shout out to Jamil, man. Good guy. Uh, he just had the wrong style for him. Like I said, if he didn't come in there to, to be aggressive and beat him up, I told y'all what was going to happen. He was going to pick the part. So, um, you know, honestly, man, uh, nobody at this weight class beating that kid. Okay, nobody. So y'all might as well book it. Oscar Valdez, he going to sleep. Maybe he got like Albert Bell, but he just got released from top rank. So, he, he wanted his release, I heard. Let's just say allegedly. Oh, the only person there, maybe Albert Bell. That's the only guy I can think of. Big, long, you know, athletic, pause. Here we go, say pause. You know, sends me pause. But, yeah, Albert Bell maybe be the, well, some more seasoning. Albert Bell might be the only one that may rival him because Shakur had to punch up to him. Yeah, Shakur had to punch up to him. I think Albert, like, what? Six foot, 73 inch arms. Yeah, Albert would have to punch up. I mean, uh, secure that'd be interesting, but Albert got to get more seasoning. So, once Albert get more seasoning, that'd be a great fight. But only challenges for him is at 35 and maybe Gary Russell and potentially down the road, Albert Bill. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out if you got a business question, query, sponsorship, video request on my social media description. Twitter's the fastest way to Facebook and Instagram. Uh, we don't have a Facebook group no more because somebody posted. So I don't, I didn't, I wasn't able to see. I wasn't able to see, like, I guess because I wasn't on my computer, what was posted wrong. And they deleted, they disabled the, or deleted the channel. So sad day, sad day, sad day. Um, I mean, the group, but hey, you can reach out, business question, car, response, your video question, advertisement channel. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Best way to donate, share the video, thumbs up the video, hit the bell icon, all notifications, comment. Appreciate the love, support. Hold on, peace.